Let's factor the equation x squared plus 4x plus 3 equals 0. And we're going to use these guidelines here to help us do that. So the first thing we do is we set up a skeleton equation like this right here. So we have that skeleton equation. And that kind of gets things set for us. Then we're going to add the signs into our skeleton equation. So since we have a positive and a positive here, all we need to do is put positives and positives as our signs here in our skeleton equation. Next, we're going to find the factors for the last term. That's the 3. And when those factors, when we add them together, they should equal the middle term. And really, the only factors for 3 are 1 times 3. So if we put 1 times 3 in there, 3 plus 1 equals 4. So this should be correct. We should have factored the equation x squared plus 4x plus 3. Let's check our work, though, with the FOIL method. So we multiply the first terms, x times x, x squared, outside, x times 3, inside, 1x, and then the last terms, plus 3. All that equals 0. We combine these, and we have x squared plus 4x plus 3 equals 0. That's what we started with, so we factored this equation correctly. Let's find the factors for x now that would make this all equal 0, make this a true statement. So to do that, we could say x plus 1 equals 0, so x would equal a negative 1. We could also say x plus 3 equals 0, so x would equal a negative 3. So now if you put a negative 1 in for x and you solve this part of the equation, it would all equal 0. Likewise, if you put a negative 3 in for x, this would all equal 0 as well. So we know we've done this part here correctly. Note you could also use the quadratic equation and you would get the same answer as we got here. This is Dr. B factoring the equation x squared plus 4x plus 3 equals 0. Thanks for watching.